Meg, why you got a, a, a Fruit Loop hospital gown on? <laughs> what? No, this is unicorn. This is like, like, this is cute. That's open on the back. Got a tie. Say the song. You look like Captain <laughs> Bismol. Shut up. Man, you always have one or the other. You always either have on a really nice outfit or really nice <laughs> hair. And today your hair is winning because that outfit is the bullshit. <laughs> the hair is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I'm at home. Okay. Oh, I, I get it. Take, I said, take and actually, this like, outfit is really cute. Though. You such a nerd. Nice. Dude, like today, today I'm gonna dress like a prism. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Meg's nurse dressed her. <laughs> really? People want to say it's a nice shirt. Nice, Meg. Yeah, I, I want to say it, but me they too. keep giving me reasons. Uh, to go. Your hair is bomb.com. Okay. Love Thanks. the pony. Love the pony. Uh, Pat, your pony looks straight dusty, but That's your good. pony. Good cascade. Yeah. Hi, beautiful. It's a nice Thanks. pony. Hi. Thanks, yes. guys. We, we're Notes, both on the pony this episode, fam. Feel me? No, your pony did. Uh, I, got a good, I got a cool little cascade today. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> cascade. Yeah, you got it. It's all about the cascade. You know? Oh my God. I feel like dust the is falling in your me. eyes. Go like this. Dust just be falling out? No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to so bad. <laughs> oh my God. Meg, something wrong with you. I know, y'all. I ain't right. Maybe it's coat. It's depression for sure. That's why I'm in therapy. You know. Man, I did get me the other oh, day. That like we might be another six months in this thing, and I kind of got down. I ain't gonna even say kind of. I got down because I was just like, man, dog. Like I just, I want to hear live music. I want to sit at my favorite restaurant. I want to, you know, what I'm saying, not have to take my food to go. I want to just go outside and not fear bringing something back into my family, man. Like. It, it got me yesterday. Oh, actually, it was yeah, Saturday. It got yeah, me. but you, you also had. Are you gonna get the vaccine since you have asthma? I don't know. I, I, I thought about, I was like, you know what? Because well, that makes him high risk. You can't, high people with asthma can't get the vaccine? No, no, no. I'm saying, is he going to? Like, you should, you know, like, is that something you're thinking about considering you are in the category for high risk? I definitely been thinking about it. I definitely been like, you know, I'm just going to take the risk with it. Uh, but I wanted to just wait a little bit longer because, I mean, realistically, I'm not going to be able to get it before May. April, May. I think there are too many. Yeah, you are. Just show them your cholesterol levels. They'll give it to you quick. Maybe like First of all, my cholesterol, my weight, my blood pressure, everything is down because of my new diet. I have, you know, that's number one. Number two, yeah. your strength. I, you've been looking you good, by the way. You can see it in the face, to here. You can see it right here. No, you have been now, looking you, good. You cut right here now. It ain't, it ain't, no. it's cut. <laughs> I see you got a little cheek. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you see this dip inside now. It don't come out. It come in. It can see you. You can plastic surgery. Neck extension. I've already signed the paperwork. I got to go to Miami to get this neck extension. But boy, I'm gonna be out here draping with chains when I get this. I'm adding an uh, inch to my neck. Well, one thing uh, at a time. Is it gonna <laughs> like your um your keep your distance outfit? You was looking. I was like, okay, friend. You look really nice. Tahiri, I like how you put Tahiri that together. Dress now, okay? Tahiri yeah, really for sure, for it. sure. Appreciate it. You know what I'm Shout out to the homie like... Ronnie, Ronnie Jordan with the blessed AF hat. You know what I'm saying? It's finally got, yeah. finally got one of my pieces of product, Ronnie. I'm still coming for that ass, bro. I'm still waiting. But uh, you know, I just man. ordered something Ronnie, from yeah. his line too. Oh yeah, yeah. Baron had on her, uh, her her yam fam uh, leggings yesterday. She had them on last night. Yes. Yeah, my yeah, yams are small. Can you still wear that? See, that's the whole beauty of the yam fam. We celebrate yams of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because when I go to the grocery stores, the yams do be every type of size. Okay. Yep. Ha! Ah, that's funny. So even like bad sizes. Yeah. There's no you such know, thing you, as no, bad size that, yams. All right. Well, you, you know you've picked up and put down a yam before. Yes, like, yeah, exactly. Uh, one. No, it's about your preference. See, you might like a specific type of yam. 
which may not be the type of yam that Will likes, which also may not be the type of yam that Tahir likes. But what we all know is that you all like yams. Yeah, Pat likes Japanese yams, the purple ones. I mean, that, <laughs> was the good. One. that was just good. Just general, that was good. I never had that. like the Asian yam. <laughs> you Where do I get even it? get these rumors? <laughs> you do. You do like the Asian yams. <laughs> I've actually never seen Pat talking to an Asian chick. I've, I've never seen that it's, not once. It's weird. It's just people like want to want to make these things up. Pat, they... now you done talk to a, an Asian girl or two. Don't lie. Don't sit here and tell that bow face cat. Of course, but it's it's never been like a consistent like oh, he's only dating Asian girls. But I get that a lot. That and white girls, and it's like when? I don't think you only specifically date anybody. I think as long as they have a vagina, you're there. You know what I'm saying? But I do see a, you do have you do like the Asian girls. Wow, that was a uh, you do Pat. Hey, like 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 uh yeah, like I said, everyone is celebrated. It might not be someone's preference. But there is a yam size for everybody. For everyone. Everybody. We all over there in the produce section. Let's jump right Everybody don't like me. <laughs> everybody don't like me or my yams. And I'm okay with that. I'm here for the people that like me. And to the people that don't, <laughs> I'm back, motherfuckers. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> That's where they start putting yam emojis in the comments when oh, she yeah. starts talking mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. All that shit gonna happen. So let's jump yep. into the first topic right after this. Listen up, people. If you sell stuff online, you definitely are in the right business right now. More people are shopping online than ever before. However, that also means you have a lot more inventory going out, which means that you need to ship even faster. That's why online sellers like you need ShipStation. No matter how much you sell, ShipStation makes it super easy to manage and ship all of your orders from all of your sales channels faster, cheaper, and more efficiently. ShipStation lets you ship with any carrier, okay? USPS, FedEx, UPS, it doesn't matter. And they also give you access to discounted shipping rates. Things that have normally been reserved for Fortune 500 companies. Now we're looking out for the little man. We're looking out for the small business owner. We're looking out for you in short, okay? You'll spend a lot less time on shipping and a lot more time on growing your business. And that is the whole thing of it all, guys. And it doesn't matter where you're selling on. You could be selling from Amazon, Etsy, your own website. ShipStation funnels all your orders into one simple interface that you can manage from anywhere, even your cell phone, okay? It's no wonder ShipStation has more five-star reviews than any other shipping software, all right? So listen. If you have a small business, you want to take it to the next level, you want to save some money on shipping, this is what you need to do. Use our offer code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and you'll get a 60-day free trial. That's right. That's two months for free. No hassle, stress-free shipping. All right, just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D. Again, that's ShipStation.com, S H I P. S T A T I O N dot com and use the offer code squad S Q U A D D and make ship happen. First topic of the day we have what's worse, holding your orgasm versus holding your poop. Oh, you almost stumbled through that. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Hold. Where's I'm your collar at? Why is your shirt so stretched out, babe? I'm trying to put my shoulder out. Ooh. That thing's gonna break. Don't you do that. that yeah. You know what? Well, well, I ain't never said nothing that. about you, but today is the day. You can get oh, it too. Oh, 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 hey. I knew it was coming anyway. You can't uh, what you gonna do here. besides being round black? That's all you got. That's about it. I have no there's nothing behind me you can grab. Oh, I don't need that. Okay. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Hey, how many uh more of those gowns are folded off camera? Seven? <laughs> Eight? <laughs> <laughs> from a man who wears snuggy outdoors hey people have bought that snuggy because of me all right i got no money I'm sure they, but i'm sure they use it in the house and not outside i ain't gonna lie he did get me in the crock shit he did he caught me no, okay. i got caught no we'll say it ain't so. i got i Come got on, man. Oh and look, and, and look i was the like yo why yellow? would he get me these bright ash yellows and I had no idea how many outfits I had went with these. The Pharaoh yellows? Come on, Tahir. Oh it's God. only a matter of months. 
I, I got really buttons do. in the cart right now. That's on the way. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I want some Crocs. I'm secure <laughs> enough to say I can't pull off everything, okay? And Crocs oh. is one of those things that I won't even try. So y'all can have it. You can try. Yeah, you, you actually look like a dude that would wear some Crocs. You, you could do it. You could pull off Crocs. Crocs, here. Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> With a buckle on it. <laughs> That'd be fire. He probably put a card, a playing card in it. <laughs> I'll, I'll put a molecule. <laughs> put a molecule on the crock. Uh, hey, hey, as a pin, that'd be monocule, dope though. But he meant molecule, monocle. or he meant monocle. Not quite oh, sure. Monocle. Back to you guys. Monocle. <laughs> Come on, Tia, you're doing so good. Shut up. <laughs> What were we talking about? We were talking <laughs> about um, holding orgasms oh, yeah. or uh, holding poop. What's worse? Or, orgasm or holding poop. Here's what I would say. Holding an orgasm sucks for like a minute. But I've held poops for hour, an hour plus, and that is not fun. <laughs> that is not fun. Plus, holding an orgasm cannot result in you shitting on yourself <laughs> i would also i would dare to no, say that's not true that is not true actually if you if you see online there has been times when that has happened i would say Hold it. wait the women yeah right? there's been times yeah this question is i actually read i read about I, I learned about that when i was like 18 years old i was like ew people poop when they have sex oh my gosh oh wait wait, wait. No. huh Oh, wait, you say you say you say uh, if if a, a woman certain, Meg is into a certain type of porn. All right, guys. If you, if you're not familiar, <laughs> you porn? y'all diet. not gonna sit here. Y'all not gonna sit here and keep saying that about me because it's not true. I mean, well, Meg, I see what you be on late night at Clubhouse. The no, pop no, up. I know the rooms you no. be in at three of the morning. Y'all stop it. Everybody has gone to those rooms. I went by accident. Don't sit here and judge Meg me because I me. accidentally went to room. Meg, Meg be in the moan room. She be moaning. Mm. No, don't, don't, don't see her tell that a lot. Don't tell these stories in here, okay? Man got, man got a lot of vacation pictures. Who's pooping on you? You pooping on some <laughs> You pooping on some old sugar daddy? <laughs> Dexter, those, you like, your, you let your kill run out like Dexter in all plastic? Like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, 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 she likes oh, really old men, thing. though. So she, she calls them Splenda daddies because they can't have sugar. <laughs> It's a diabetes. <laughs> what? Oh, childish. You, you know what's crazy? I absolutely, I am like so grossed out by poop. And it's crazy because I'm a mother of a toddler who I have to clean his poop. And it is so, oh. every time my face be like this, yeah. when I was changing his diaper three, four, five, six, seven times a day, I'd be like, with the poop, it just grosses me out every single time. You would think by now I'd be used to it. I'm not, I can't, I clean his poop every day and I'm still like, Ugh. <laughs> You would think with your past relationships, you'd be used to it. Now that we're finding out who you really are. <laughs> Meg be pooping on sugar daddy. Splendid daddy. Bob, Ew, please please do something with Splendid start daddy. Start that too. lie. That's disgusting. Um, I'm agree with Pat. Holding poop is worse. Um, <laughs> orgasm is consistent. Poop, you don't know which is which. It's either solid or loose. <laughs> you don't know what you battling with that day. No, nah, you know what you know what you ate, Will. You know what Kinda you ate, know. you know which one. Yeah, but you don't know how that's gonna break down. You don't never know how that's gonna break down. Yeah, uh, literally break down. Yeah. I really I really feel like this question is kind of biased to guys because I don't feel like women even hold their orgasm that much. I feel like they, if anything, they're trying to get it because they know guys can't hold back. Right. Isn't that worse though? Like almost being there, and then the guy's like, Ugh, see you guys. <laughs> And then out and then like, <laughs> what if, what if, what if you had to like, Ty, Ty, say to, Ty, what do you want to say? Because this whole time I'm watching your face, you keep going. Yeah, and we went, we went right out the gate, Ty. I'm sorry. A lot of, uh, I'm just, I'm just listening. Um, I was fascinated by what you said, Meg. I was like, what does she be watching? Like, what is yeah. that that you promise you i you're no this actually was an studying. article that i read i read it and i was oh. just like it, this is when i was young because i had this whole tainted like view i was like oh my gosh like that's what happens so people do that during sex that's why that's what i was trying to so say. it 
so in the article, were they, was he like in the back door or he was just in the regular entrance? No, it was about a girl. You, know, you remember them like 17 magazine days? They would have articles. No. Oh, well, okay. So back in the day, 17 <laughs> magazine <laughs> Ain't never heard these. Ain't never magazine. seen these on the front page. No, it's not. A, it, it was in. It was in article. They always had like an anonymous article. Somebody would write something. They would. They would change the names or whatever. So in this article, the girl would say how it was her. She said that she's trying to hold back her her orgasm just to like so she could like savor it or whatever. I don't remember. But then she said she was like oh, she let go and then she pooped. She came and pooped at the same time. Yes, I was like, like oh. I, today, I, I, today is the I thought, first time I thought I've one ever door was heard of that. The other door, I don't know. I, yeah, did, I didn't know. Like open, close, like. You know. <laughs> <laughs> she said that. I was like, oh, that's possible. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so would that be a squirter? Ew. <laughs> I hope not. I don't think you want that. <laughs> I gotta understand that I, Todd, Todd doesn't have to worry about the same thing because, like, she she's a, she's a cougar, so she's she's fucking niggas twenty three, twenty four. These niggas got the stamina of of a racehorse, so really? like they still got diapers on. You don't got to worry about poop. Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember like um, my 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 last boyfriend. He's he was older than me. And um, I remember one night I was, you know, feeling frisky and I'm like, you know, you're gonna do something. And he was like, yeah, let me stop by the store and get a Red Bull. And I was like, all right. Like, hey, 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 hey. that's not an old guy like, thing. Sometimes we like, just need that. All right. And then, so and he, he doesn't need to drink a whole one, just a half. And then he was like, he was like, I'm so tired. I, I do it in the morning. And I was like, all right. Wait, after the Red Bull? No, he didn't no, drink the Red Bull. He was too tired. He didn't want to. He was like, I'll do it in the morning. I was like, That, oh. that is an older guy problem. I will say that. No like, shame. Because he's tired. Red Bull. Don't no, say but I tired. think you don't see no 23-year-olds having to say, let me stop by for a Red Bull, right, Ty? They be like, all right, chill. Right now? Here? Uh, you want it? It's not true. I'd that be is like, not true. I'd be like, whoa, relax. That whoa, is not whoa, true. Whoa, relax, fella. I, I, learned about uh, that. I learned about all of them, like, Energy drinks and horny goat weed at 23 for my friends. I'm like, y'all. Horny goat weed? Yes. You know, what you know, that? little pills they be selling at the counter of them uh, that very suspicious that gas that's stations. That's what that's oh, gas yeah. station pills. Yeah. Okay. But this was called like horny goat weed. I, that it's like a whole bunch of different ones. It's like off brand stuff, but I'll never forget that one. It was called horny goat weed, and it's just basically supposed to pump you up. That's for dudes. <sighs> That was the dudes. Oh, I thought horny goat weed was for women. But what's it called? I'm I've I've never heard of that. Like I'm trying to think how I've heard I would it react. Before. I didn't realize that's what it was for. I mean, clearly it's in the name, but I thought oh, it was... I've heard I've heard of horny goat weed. I've just never heard of like coming and shitting at the same time. Yeah. Like, I I've, I've never heard of that. Look it like, up. Oh, stop, oh, stop, it stop. I'm almost there and then shit. Like that's what she was talking about. Like that would be oh crazy. Don't stop, don't stop. I'm almost that, that was good. Actual uh, piece of advice. Hey, I can tell you this: that shirt ain't gonna never fit the same after you threw it on that shoulder like that. You understand? Know <laughs> up to here, okay. <laughs> in the back, it don't Shut need your to freaking fit. mouth before I tell everybody that used to wear mesh shirts so people could see them guns tatted on your back. I never wore mesh shirts. I just yes, took my did. shirt off. Yes, you did. <laughs> they were actually crop tops, so they could see the full. <laughs> <laughs> the full gun sticking out, so you can turn it. Like, we we like, just got through shooting damn and it was scary, and I just want to let everybody know that that that's not a sweater that Pat has on. That's actually a nightgown. His legs are out right now. Goes all the way. <laughs> <laughs> His legs are out and his ankles out, and I was like, "Why do you have on an ankle?" I, I wasn't I wasn't prepared to see an Adobe ankle. Classic long hat with a ball on it. <laughs> what white people used to wear to sleep in Christmas Carol. But the funniest part is that could actually be true. That's why it makes That's hilarious. That's That's hilarious. hilarious. I pictured myself as this. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't put Pat, I don't put another past Pat after I found out he wears toe rings. I was like, this nigga's on the I do not wear toe rings. I'm sorry, what? Feel. See, now you're going too far. Now he's spreading stuff. You I had believe that. I don't, I do I not. Oh, oh, 
throw my toes on camera right now. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Let God. us see it, dude. I was like, have I seen you? And keep your with... nightgown down so you don't show us nothing else. Man, you know you ain't supposed to ask him to te- his, throw his legs up while he got that gown <laughs> on like that. He was raised in a church. <laughs> a ring. You just took them off when you took your shoes off. <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> did he take the rig off? You do come across as a guy who wears toe rings. Is that what he did? Yeah, now I wear toe rings to hear you didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uncomfortable. Jesus. I believe I like it. it. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Ty. So. What's harder um, to get back? I'm going to say it's going to be harder to hold a number two than to hold a happy release. Mm-hmm. That deuce is hard because here's the thing. You you know when you're having sex, you know what the goal is, right? You, you're, you're actually doing activity to get you toward that goal. When you try to hold that poop in, sometimes that poop comes unexpected. You could literally be in the middle of a workout and do a squat and be like, oh, shit. I'm about to get my gyms, my membership. Blue balls is very uncomfortable though. I don't know what that feels like for a woman, but it's it's really uncomfortable for us. It's uncomfortable and and extremely frustrating. It is, yeah. Blue balls make you want to flip a bed. Do y'all do y'all get pressure? Because we get pressure in that region. Y'all feel pressure. How's it for for you all, ladies? Like cramps. Yeah, Mm. like you'll get cramps in your like almost like period cramps oh yeah really y'all wear but some people is worse than others yeah you know the crazy thing is that if if you get blue balls and let's say you know the the person that you're involved with leaves and you try to relieve yourself right it's it's damn near painful when you do it and then it still lingers around you like oh the poop or the the organ the organ (laughs) You said it's painful. Yeah, afterwards, it still it still lingers. That feeling still lingers afterwards. Like the blue ball feelings is like we just gonna hang out here to our ride. Though. And, and, and it then gained up. It then gained up a lot of power too. So you yeah. know where that thing finna shoot off at either. Yeah, you gotta do it outside. You gotta yeah. do it on the back court. Yeah. yeah, like I had, hey, I didn't have some streams just disappear. You know where it went. Like this saw it was somewhere in one of the parts of the carpet, and I did not <laughs> find it. I put the hole in the wall. Mine just shot a hole in the wall. I was like, man, I got a peep hole into to the bedroom. As if you hear ouch coming from Tahir's bedroom, you just <laughs> cover. It's gonna be shit flying oh! in the back. Oh man. <laughs> Doing it again. I my just rub that thing out and it's fine. It's still not gonna be worse than I, I yeah, I said holding poop is worse because if you think about it, at least, well, if you hold an orgasm, you know what eventually you're going to have one and then it's a great feeling. But I feel like holding poop, mm-hmm. even at the end, and it does feel great that you pooped, but while you're pooping, sometimes you get cramps, it could hurt, you feel like nauseous, you want to throw up because you held it for so long and then finally it's out and you feel better. But I feel like that feeling is 10 times worse. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't fart if you got to poop. That's out the way. <laughs> oh, that's not true. That is not true. You get fart hit, is you disrespectful when that happens. Uh, oh, that is true. When you got to poop, yeah. your farts be so foul. Uh, the ones that stick out. I'm talking about the ones that you think is just gonna be like a quick, but mm-hmm. it ends up being like. Ah. That's 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 playing that's playing <laughs> Russian roulette. You try to you listen. If you've been holding for over 30 minutes, don't try to let no no pressure out. You let some pressure out, that door mm-hmm. explode on you. Yep. No, what I, I, nope. Let's, I let's put it to a vote, man. We're we going with uh we're we going with orgasm or we're we going with uh the poop. With worse? Yeah. I'm gonna say poop. Holding poop is worse. Holding poop. Poop. Will? I'm older now. I'm older now. So when I'm coming, I'm coming. So I'm gonna go with poop. Huh? Poop it is. Looks like poop is unanimous on that one. And we're going to jump right into the second topic right after this. Listen, we all shop online, all right? And we've all seen that promo code 
feel taunt us at checkout. No, we don't have the coupons that we need to bring that total down. Listen, thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Automatically. Okay, Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, and they range from sites from tech to gaming product to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. You heard right, everything. Now, I'm going to break it down to you real fast on how it works. Now, imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, okay? When you get to the checkout, the Honey button drops down, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. That's right. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop automatically. I can't thank them enough. I didn't save money on clothes, on underclothes, shorts, socks, tank tops, all of that type. Listen, I'm saving money. I'm saving money McGee over here. And we ain't just talking five, ten dollars, which is still good. I done saved over twenty dollars using Honey. Okay. I, you think I'm not ever gonna try? I'm always going to try to use Honey. It don't matter what site I'm on. You better believe Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. I know you want to get in on this. You could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in seconds. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash squad. Again, that's joinhoney dot com slash squad one more time join honey dot com slash squad s-q-u-a-d-d -D. what you waiting on go get your money back next topic of the day we have would you rather grow up with siblings or be an only child mm. first of all oh, who is an only child I'm not an only child, but also consider, before you answer, consider everything that we have today, technology-wise. Like, you could be an only child and still be able to communicate with people all over the world because of, like, gaming and chat rooms and all of that type of stuff. So it's not the same way it used to be. And, you know, if you're in the city where your family is, you still got cousins and stuff like that, too. So I also consider all of that. It ain't the same, though, unless you live in a house with your cousins and y'all got that kind of family. It ain't the same as having, like, a sibling there all the time because then y'all both going through the same exact thing together. Mm -hmm. Like, the same type of discipline, the same type of craziness from your parents. No, <laughs> what, you what you um, I, I would rather have siblings, um, and I do have siblings, but... Uh, me and my brothers did not receive the same discipline. We, we no, that's not how it went at all. But it was cool to have that togetherness, right? So it was like if there was an issue, you know, my mom always said, uh, if one of y'all fighting, all of y'all fighting. You know what I mean? So it was like it was always you. There was always somebody that had your back. And I would prefer that. You know, I like being alone, but I was the only girl uh you know and I have the two younger brothers but the discipline was 100% not the same it was <laughs> absolutely different was it were they, were they were you think your parents were harder on you <laughs> yeah I, you know what I do so, think parents are always harder on the the oldest the firstborn yeah well see I was the oldest and only girl and my brother behind me is 18 months younger. And then my other brother is seven years younger. So it was like, yeah. we had to protect, you know, baby brother and everything like that. Um, but yeah, she was definitely hard. It was like, when it came time for like curfew stuff, um, my brother actually could stay out a little later. He had more flexibility where it was like, uh, you in this house. And I'm like, yeah. but he gets to, and I'm older than him. She's like, it's the way it is. So I was your like, girl. Oh, your girl. That's yeah. What if y'all were at the same party? You would have to peace out to your little brother. Like, all right, bro. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yep. That's oh crazy. man. Yeah. That's that's, that's unfortunate. The thing with, I, with however, like the thing with being <laughs> an only child is like you get all the gifts, you get all the attention. I mean, granted that your parents are decent. You get all the gifts, you get all the, the presents, you get all the love, uh, you get all the attention. Um, you know, your parents typically want the best for you. So like, if you had three or four siblings, you might not be able to go to that 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 basketball summer camp or 
space camp or whatever it may be. But if it's just you, it's like, you know, all that money gets to go to you though. So you get all the cool gaming systems. You're like, if we had two kids, they definitely wouldn't be getting uh, everything that, that the kid has. Cause I'm like, well, I don't like both of y'all. I gotta choose. <laughs> That's <laughs> the problem with that is that you get all those toys and video games and you have to play it by yourself. Like. The coolest thing about the sibling is, regardless of the 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 separation of gifts or attention, you still have like oh, somebody so to play with it all the time. Like you don't have to keep bothering your parents. Like, come on, let's play this. Or blah, blah, blah. You can play with each other. You can have little adventures. Like me and my my siblings always had little adventures, and that was half the childhood. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you see, like as a. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, like, as a the only child, it would it's kind it would kind of be difficult, right? Because when your parent be like, "Hey, uh, go go get me something to drink," or "Hey, where's the remote?" Like, at least if you have siblings, you can kind of delegate some of this stuff out, so you don't always have to be the one to go and do stuff. Mm -hmm. So I there would be many days where I would <laughs> I would make my little brothers like, "Hey, mom said go do X Y Z." Mom yeah, said yeah. take it out of the trash. Mom yeah, said you know what I mean. And if you only child, you gotta do everything by yourself. Here's the thing, though. Here's another thing to think about with siblings, though. Number one, the younger siblings are dickheads. They'll eat your food. Olders will, too. Older, older siblings will eat your food that you hid and put up for later on when you get off of school. They gotta eat your shit up. That's number one. Number two, guilty by association, right? You haven't been in a situation where your younger sibling or older sibling got in trouble, and because you were there, you got a whooping, too. You sat there and watched a motherfucker do that shit, and you got in trouble, too. That's another thing. Guilty by association. Fuck them siblings. Or you'll get in trouble <laughs> for them doing something and it'd be like, where were you? That's I remember um, one time my brother almost set the house on fire. And said, where were you? I was on the phone. <laughs> you should have been watching them. Like, mm -hmm. And this was before cordless phones was the thing. Like, I was chained to the wall on the phone. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the wall. <laughs> yeah, man, I was born in the 1900s. It was different back then. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, if I think about all of the people I know that are only children, like they're all weird. There's something weird about them. I'm like, why do you do that? That's foul. Oh, that's, that's foul as hell for you to talk about CP. And he's not here to defend himself. Oh, he's the only child. Well, they, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> they, they, they ain't got nobody to play with. They gotta make that's up people and talk to themselves. They mm -hmm. in the back talking to themselves, talking about the man with no face. This and you're only child. Hey, hey, man. Only Hey, fuck y'all. All right, I ain't gonna sit here and keep taking this shit, all right? Oh, you are not child? gonna keep talking about it. I'm technically, I don't know my siblings. My um, two are dead, one disappeared, and another one is like, I just met on Facebook. So I didn't grow up with siblings. But uh, oh. only children are not that no, weird. No, you okay? in that group too, okay? And I'm glad <laughs> you said it, because it makes sense now about you. <laughs> like, what is weird about me? <laughs> We'll talk about that later. It's a whole long list. But yeah, that makes sense now. Yes, my theory is now confirmed now that Will's part of the group. No, but they're weird though. So I, I don't know. I feel like there's just better. When you have mama siblings, it's. My mama grew up. <laughs> Who's not weird? not weird? My mama, she's not Who? weird. <laughs> mother. I mean, mother. She, well, you came from her. So there's a little bit of something in her that made you like that. You special. So we're going to say oh, that. Oh. I, but your mom is cool and I like her. Um, <laughs> no, I'm like, only children are, I mean, that's one of the reasons. That's probably, like, that's funny that you said it because, like, I'm okay with just having my son, but then I think about it later in life when he gets older. Like, he has older brothers, but they're, like, 20 years older than him. Mm -hmm. And so, like, when I think about when he gets their age, they're, like, old men. And so, you know, what happens when he's 60? His brothers are 80. Like, that's Man, not look, fun. Look, I have to push I, them around. Look, so, like, you gonna I'm have hoping any more? that... Look, Meg, take I, you know, it back and forth every day i'd be saying maybe i do maybe i don't you know Meg, then Meg, it gets on my nerves take it like this know. he he could end up like me because you're gonna definitely have him cutting the grass at seven like i had to he gonna be having to fix pipes under the house like i had to at 10. why because there's no one else there pipes there's no one else there. And my dad wasn't like all that really repaired like that so i had to do it so again you don't have siblings to go oh damn it's just me did you that's like, enough for me to be like, like when like if you like the house like when winter comes and stuff like that like so the pipes don't freeze you have to like get some of those wrapped and then put shingles on the sides of the house so they don't freeze over but he can't get under there so i gotta go under there 
That is so scary. <laughs> Under the house? Yeah. Blankets on pipes? That's a thing? Yeah. For the one hand, yeah. Otherwise, some things gonna bust or freeze over. You is a for real country boy. I've never lived anywhere frozen. <laughs> that's that. It just sounds like a, that sounds like a very cold place. Never. The ground Dude, things cold. don't freeze in Los Angeles. Nothing. Typically don't. Very Typically. rare. Than where, where are you from, Will? I'm from Texas. Uh, Port Arthur, Texas. Okay. Okay. Port Arthur. I didn't know it got that cold. Yay. You G P A T. Yes, I'm a PA nigga, a drill <laughs> ass nigga. Yeah. A small town okay. with big balls, as they call it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a nice people. way of saying a lot of people are overweight there. That too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, got, we got a lot of auntie figures in Port Arthur. So I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> like they got balls like dinosaurs. Nigga, you just had fourths for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <Well. laughs> Bypass seconds and went straight to fourths, and that's why you calling yourself Big Bone. But no, oh, that's what you said, fourths. Okay, yeah, I was like, I was like, okay, it was the lag to hear my fault. I heard fourths, I I don't know, man. Like, I I get I get both sides of it. Like, there are times I wish the kid had, especially like times like this during quarantine, I definitely wish the kid had someone to play with her age because, like. Her friends are in and out, and then you also don't want your kid going over somebody else's house, coming back or something, or risk, you know, taking something to someone else's house. So it's hard to like really, for her to, you know, interact with people outside of us. And we have found ourselves engaging with her more, playing the Oculus and other VR games and shit like that with her, just to make sure she has some type of human interaction. So it is difficult on that front. But like, man, shoes and clothes. I'd rather just do it for one. Because them motherfuckers be growing, bro. They be growing. Man. So. Fuck them kids. I, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to say. That's a hereditary feeling because my dad wasn't in my life. So obviously that nigga said, fuck them kids too. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, child. Yo, imagine if y'all had the same thought process though. Like he just I'm was my checking out son, clothes right there. Oh, my dad is fuck this. I'm out. Uh-uh. And he was Yo. like, you what? Pregnant? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. That shit is scary. That shit is scary. You gotta think about 18, 18 years of buying shoes. You like. No, it ain't 18 because trust and believe when they get to be young adults in college or whatever, even you after know, college, still there's gotta, still gonna yeah. be times like, Mom, Dad, I need I need this. Can you help me? Yes. I feel like 18 was like the move out age of like the generation before ours. It seems like because of college, people are like yeah. waiting until their early twenties, mid twenties. I feel like everything is skewed in LA. I feel like people be like 34 yeah. moving out of their parents' house in, in LA. And I think it's, it's, it's really due because uh, I think the housing market is just so expensive. Yeah, in LA. yeah it's, like, it's you, hard. You yeah, it's hard to live by yourself. Eight to 10 yeah. years just to save up for a down payment, you know, especially if you go to college because you, mm-hmm. you're paying off student loans and all mm-hmm. that type of stuff too. So I know a lot yeah. of people just stay with their parents so they can save up and then mm-hmm. they put down on a house in LA, so. Yeah, because I know I'm talking about like married people. I know people that got married, moved back in with one of the parent, one of the, you know, the the person's parents, and then saved up money that way. But yeah, I think that's an LA thing because I moved out very early. I know a lot of my my friends they moved out right. at 18 or or you know shortly after too, yeah, whether they so. were in college or not. They just like they want they were ready to be on their own. Yeah, but you know what? Um, I think about like when we were like that age, and I think about the kids are that age right now. I feel like this generation doesn't move out like that. Like, are they soft? They soft as fuck. Daughter, <laughs> like, a, if I, if I took my daughter to goddamn me the gas station four blocks away from the crib, she would be. I mean, if she didn't have her phone, she would just be fucked up. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's not aware of her surroundings. She don't. She she does. She just don't be paying attention when we driving. Like when I was riding with somebody, I was always like scoping where I was at mm-hmm. because I never know if I needed to get back there on the bus. So I needed to remember. But, just, the but ride. hold on though. But to hear so that, 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 actually, that actually is a positive thing because your response was a trauma response 
because of the stuff that you dealt with growing up, right? Mm -hmm. So like, you're always looking, you're always aware of what's going on because that's a matter of life and death from where you come from. But she has lived such, like y'all have done such a good job of like, you know, where you've put her. She doesn't have to, that's not even something that she can fathom because she ain't got to live like that. Yes, so in that, one sense, but it's to make your kids though, off. It's, it's, it's twofold because it's also like, her perception and, and self-awareness is also very low. So I like, yes, I had to know where the exits were, but I also like, like I said, would try to recognize the route. So if I needed to get back there, I know what buses to take. Like she doesn't have to even think about that because that's not something that she don't even- So why don't you drop her off two miles from the house and say, figure your way home. She ain't gonna do it. She will sit there and the cry. The effective parenting though. <laughs> it would be. But that's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? Because like this generation don't have, like you, that's a trauma response. You had to learn that. But like these kids don't have to learn, you know, it's their the parents have world. done better. In, like, they, they've they've grown different. up in the same world that Tahir was in. Well, no, I think about it like, if, like how Tahir said, if we left, there ain't no phone to track us back. Like if you didn't know how to get home and wherever you was, you had to go find an office or something like that that had a phone, remember your mom's number at the house and hope that she there. Otherwise, you don't know how to get back home. You sitting here continuing to try to use that phone until one of them pick up and then tell them where you are to come pick you up, then bring you home and beat your ass because you didn't know how to get home. <laughs> <laughs> and these kids could just be like, I'm going to call Uber. And then yeah. that's it. So it's like, so it's like they don't have to learn any survival skills. So are we mad at them? Because it's not like the, the yes. way. All of us had to learn survival skills because of what we went through. But like, if they, if you don't go through nothing, then it's easier. But like I said, it's the same world. You should still be around, uh, aware of your surroundings because crazy stuff happens, you know? You I know, but if that is not how you grew up, that's so, because for example, me and Tahir have been out someplace before. And the first thing Tahir was like, okay, boom, exit, exit. And I was like, yep. what? I, I forgot where he's at, but I was like, yeah, like, this is about to be fun. He over here scoping the exits. I was like, oh, there's exits? Well, you know I'm what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. You gotta be Jason Bourne every time you go out. I'm just saying. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> nah, you need to know where the exit right, is. Right, you definitely like, know where the exit is. A, a balance of, of at least knowing what to do in, in case of an emergency, in case something happens, regardless mm. of what happened before. It's just about like, you know, getting ready so you don't have to stay ready. Well, as soon as we you got there, like I was like, Meg, I know at this altitude, I could run three miles before I have to lose to catch my breath. <laughs> no, and all the, the license plates in the parking lot. Tell me <laughs> how. Hey, hey. And the guy at the counter knows how to handle himself. <laughs> 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 That's a great scene. That's a really good scene. <laughs> He's got 145 pounds. Like, damn, nigga. Who are you? You can just tell that somebody know how to handle themselves just by how they sit and that motherfucker must have been sitting like this the whole time. Like, yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy can fight. <laughs> no, you you know that that was a, a interesting point that you made, uh, Meg, about you know him having a trauma response because I grew up on a military base. My my mother was in the military. And we were taught that if if there, if a shooting happens, you don't take off running. If there's a shooting, you 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 drop, you stop where you are, you get to the ground, you get low. Like that's how they train soldiers. So like when mass shootings and stuff started happening, like I just told my kids the same thing. If you're ever somewhere and people start shooting, you don't run. You just mm -hmm. you take cover. And so you know, and and at first it was like, oh that's weird. Why would you teach your kids that? But then all these school shootings and stuff started happening. And it was like, you were staying. Yeah. So a, like, cause sometimes people get hit mm -hmm. running. Yeah. My dad taught me that. He was like, you're shooting, you better play dead. You better fall like you got shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't think about it to them, but I was like, yo, you look dead. They pass you up. And I was yep. like, wow. Then, then you read that meme that said, uh, <laughs> a shooter walks in the building and you hear him say, Shoot everybody again just to make sure they did. Like, <laughs> Wait, you found oh, it? Oh, come on, man. What? Headshots <laughs> only. I had, I had went into shot, but I just do what y'all need me to do. Can you just shoot me in my foot? <laughs> Let's move to a vote, though. Uh, siblings are growing up an only child. Ty. I would like siblings because I have them. Okay. Will? Siblings. I would love that. Siblings. Meg? Siblings, life is more fun with them. Pat? 
him siblings. All right, and I'm gonna go only child. I want all the presents. All right, we're gonna move on to the <laughs> final topic of the day. Just right like after people. this, you know what I hated when I was taking multivitamins in the past? That burp. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Cause I'm like, why? Why does I? Why do I always have this? I don't even know where it comes from. Okay, and we deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies and why, especially when it comes to something that we're taking every day. Ritual's clean, vegan-friendly multivitamin is formulated with high-quality nutrients, all right? You know exactly what you're putting inside your body. What you won't find? Sugars, GMOs, major allergens, synthetic fillers, and artificial coolers. You ain't getting none of that in Ritual. Come on, man. Plus, the fresh taste and delayed release capsule design makes it easy to take your vitamins, all right? Ritual is a multivitamin reimagined. A multivitamin should contain key nutrients and forms your body can actually use to help you fill in the gaps in your diet. No shady extras. I have to be real with myself. As I get older, I either gonna work out every day and eat right every day, or I'm gonna take something to help me because I'm not gonna work out every day and I'm not gonna eat right every day, okay? However, I take Ritual to help keep that balance. I understand as I get older, I have to be aware of these type of things. That's why I'm so thankful that Ritual exists and I already signed up. And Ritual makes it easy, so easy. Your multivitamins are delivered to your door every month with free shipping, always. And you can start, snooze, or cancel your subscription at any time. And if you don't love Ritual, you understand me? If you don't love Ritual, within your first month, they'll refund your first order. Come on. This, this, this is risk-free. There's no reason for you not to try this. But listen, get key nutrients without the BS. Ritual is offering my listeners 10% off during your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. Again, that's visit ritual, R-I-T-U-A-L.com slash squad. S-Q-U-A-D-D. And start your ritual today. Last topic of the day. No social media for a year versus no text messaging for a year. Oh, that's easy. Is text it? Messaging, text messaging has really been reinvented through social media in a lot of ways with DMs and commenting. And you could actually use, I mean, technically you can use social media to download like a WhatsApp or like a third party texter, you mm -hmm. know? So, and then if you want to be, technical and say okay you cannot write somebody else there's like audio notes and you know clubhouse mm -hmm. stuff like that so social media makes you pretty much just as available as a direct number if you're willing to go through all that stuff so it, well it, that only depends if you only interact with like people that are your age because old old people may not be on facebook like i know my dad is not on anything so how i like i, I couldn't contact him if i didn't contact him directly like yeah but if you told him that some weird freckled wizard told you that you couldn't uh, <laughs> for a year you just explained to them that you have to get Facebook because I'm not available. Okay, so do you hold on real quick? Maybe you don't understand how old people I would have to be tech support to try to figure out how to get them on. You have to be Meg, you would have to go there to set up their 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 stuff for them. Absolutely. It's the same thing with my mom. My mom just got a touch screen phone and she is just lost. I was trying to tell her how to download the Kev on Stage app, and she was like, I'm gonna look at some flights. Should I just come out there or you wanna come here? Now you gotta send you gotta send somebody this over is, to this her house. Shit. Cause she don't trust every she because she knows that her account is attached to it if she has to buy something. So she don't trust some of my family mm -hmm. with her phone in their hand and she not close by. So she was like, I just rather you do it or you or your I sister do it. That's, to one you. That's one thing. The second thing is, dog, as much as I love, I mean I love uh social media group chats like i i, I group text mm -hmm. bro like the real comedians uh the original squad cast like come on bro y'all know our it's, our text like we don't do it as much as we used to but you know the text be crazy probably group get chat, that in yeah. group chat in ig yeah group yeah, chats are like in ig because yeah. you, you don't always get the notification in ig like if you engage in the conversation you have to put your phone down 
and it goes to sleep, you you might not remember to go back to your, your IG. But if you're in a group text, you're going to get that notification like that. And you can respond either like with the text or with the gift. Like it's nothing better than getting but those are baby problems gift compared for a to response in a group text. Oh, Fuck in a group text. I hate it. Like I will turn my whole phone off on a group text like i fucking hate those and then especially if you trapped in a group text with like android and iphone and oh, you can't yeah. like uh-huh. take yourself out oh my god i hate it and yeah. and i i'm certain age like listen if we text and that's cool you get like three to five text tops and then call me i'm not i can't i can't keep doing it call me what you say say what you come on i don't don't keep writing stuff. I'm uh, also talking about like, like we all having fun. Like, uh, like let's say, yeah. let's say that y'all are on different sides of the country, right? So you got somebody in New York and there, and you're in Memphis, and you're or, or whatever side it is. You're in St. Louis, and you got somebody in Portland or another port in Oregon that is in the, the mountains. And then you got somebody in LA. So y'all are all on different time zones. Y'all all watching the movie together. And now y'all all texting about the movie afterwards. Like that is, that's, it's, it's, it's a different level. <laughs> that's right? different. You can have I mean, the discord. I was you just trying to point out discord. the different time zones and everybody's watching the same movie on Netflix or whatever it may be. Like that, that's that's different. And you can't really get Bless that same experience. I don't know why, but it just, it just don't feel the same as doing it on IG as it does in the, in the text thread. It's kind of like, um, like I, I, I love, Law and Order, right? And I fell in love with Law and Order on USA. So it feels weird when I'm watching it on Netflix or Hulu. It don't feel the same. I don't know if it's without the commercials or something, but it just don't feel the same when I'm watching it on the streaming sites. It's, it don't give you no breaks. Huh? It don't give you no breaks to hear. It don't make, it don't make you stop and then be like, let me figure this out. Who the yeah, you be like, I can't. I can't. During commercials. Because okay. you could pause you it. You could it. easily pause yeah. it. You be like, ah, I can't pause mm, it. I don't want to pause it. You, you give me the break. And be like, I bet you it's the husband. I bet money is the husband. Or as soon as this Viagra commercial come out, watch it be the husband. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was the husband. I knew it. You I can't do that on that Netflix. Netflix. His eyes is too close uh, together. I don't trust people with little yeah. eyes and little ears. I don't get time in Netflix. It get right to it. Like, oh, they told me it was the husband. I ain't had time to think about it. Yeah. It didn't but here's the home. other thing, though. Like, most of us on here are creators. So if we didn't have social media, then what would you be doing oh you got a lot more stuff like, only fans yeah. on word poop, of mouth who pages on only fans ain't that right man only yeah. fans is social it's media ain't it yeah that's social it media. is is it yeah, yeah. i mean technically yes. it's, it's, it's a form of media social. does youtube count as that yep yes oh well then no oh, hold, hold on, on. You hold, hold, on hold on no. hold on social media i think would be I don't know if OnlyFans would fall in there, and I don't know if YouTube would fall in there because that. No, I think OnlyFans would. I think YouTube wouldn't. That would be in. That would be entertainment. It wouldn't be like, because like they don't have a. No, because you like can post feed. yourself and comment. O- OnlyFans doesn't have a feed. And comment. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about YouTube. I'm not 100 percent sure about OnlyFans. Well, OnlyFans is for sure because they DM each other. And yeah. yeah. They, only, they talk to each other. OnlyFans is considered a uh, social media because it's also like a thing of social media. You post videos. It's kind of it's kind of like Patreon, right? Yeah, yeah. All that. I just part. I All just want to be wrong, so screw you guys. Well, no, nah, because you because on YouTube you can't post photos, and so that's another thing with social media has to be included to post like to generate content. But I, now it's starting to cross over though because you can do yeah. like stories and stuff, and mm-hmm. you. So and the community page like, that you do it too now. You can do I stories for, on YouTube now. Mm-hmm. But I think for this yeah. example, I feel like it you shouldn't it. be considered social media. I mean, but even so, you can make your own website uh, to generate content, and with without social media, you probably get paid even more now. That is true. Mm-hmm. I don't know when I think about what this world is and what it's coming to. If I had to pick for a year. I'll probably get rid of texting and would keep the social media because there's so many things in that. Like I don't have to go search for news. I could go on one of the social media sites. Like if I wanted something quick, I could do that. If if I wanted to keep in touch with people, I can do that. And there's more people that I could keep in touch with with on social media than I can through phone. Because think about it, if you text, you have to like talk to them. 
Whereas mm-hmm. social media, you can see what I'm doing. I can see what you're doing. I don't never need to talk to you. You don't never need to talk to me unless you want to. You know what I'm saying? But text, you ain't got a choice. You got to talk to them to figure out what's going on. So What's crazy know. is I would go to Twitter and type in something before I go to CNN. Like if I heard something was popping off, like with the, the thing at the Capitol, I went straight to Twitter. And then I pulled up all the videos, really? all the articles, all that. I would go to Twitter before I go to CNN, before I go to Fox, before I go to MSNBC, because Twitter has like literally this finger on the pulse of the world. So you could find out, because you can find everything from like six or seven different outlets all in one platform versus having to go to those six or seven different outlets. Twitter That's, is you know what? That's- that's what I would do anytime when I lived in LA and there was an earthquake, I would immediately go to Twitter because yeah. somebody else was like, did y'all just feel that? Did y'all just feel that? Whereas it would take like another 10 minutes or so before somebody put it up on like an actual news site. But I could be like, oh my gosh, my thighs was jiggling for no reason. Was this an <laughs> earthquake? And I'll see that. Somebody said, yes, it is. Everything. I remember when LAX had got shut down because it was an active shooter there. And one of our friends was on a plane. She was like, I think something's wrong. Uh, we just been grounded. Can you guys check a seat? And we went straight to Twitter and Twitter told, and then she, right when we were about to respond, she was like, "Never mind. I saw it on Twitter. There's an active shooter at LA. Uh, LA. Wow. And like, we went, and Twitter was just, it was there, man. It's, it's a great source. It's the biggest hub. Yeah, for I, I, I feel that, but it's also the biggest hub for the, also the negative stuff too. So if it's like for a year, give it to me. I'll take no social media. I, I, I want to go back to the library. And find stuff. I went to the library the other day in downtown LA. That place is beautiful. It is. Wait, which one? The the which which bookstore? Uh, uh well, I went to the last bookstore and then I actually went to the public library in downtown. So yeah, both one, it's on one way street. It's across from um, what is it? That that big building that got the restaurant at the top that revolves. Yeah, and they yeah, the and library is blocked now. Nice. Yeah, but it's black. Like, do y'all still be going stuff. to the library like that? Like no, okay, but okay. I was like, let me just go for no reason because I ain't really had nothing to do that day. And I'm like, yo, like we be so connected into our phones, like little things, like just like being able to find a phone number. Actually, like you know, I know Pat likes to Google a lot of stuff, but it's like, yo, imagine if you didn't have Google, how would you go find that out? And then the fact I couldn't remember how to go search stuff. <laughs> I was like, yo, I would definitely take a year to get and sharpen my instincts back again on what yeah. to be like if social media wasn't here. The one, the library, uh, every time the library to- in Burbank, you can actually reserve rooms. And people, I like, before I had like the outlet for ADD and like different studios, I would go there to film my uh, auditions or run lines with other actors and stuff like that. If we didn't have a- AC in their place and I couldn't go back to my place, I would go to that library because they had AC, they had the water fountains, they had the the, mach- the soda machines and, and you could reserve mm-hmm. rooms and all of that. And you could rent videos, you could do, um, you could do books for free. Like they have your know, audio book. I mean, uh, not audio, yeah, what is it? Audible. Right, you can literally go yeah. to the library and they have their own system, their own platform <laughs> for audio books, and you can get it for free. If it's on there, you could you could just reserve it. So, the library is still where it's at. I, I, I go to the one in uh, Glendale and the one in Burbank. I go there to vote, and they have toddler time a few times a week. Well, That'd be a cool <laughs> hobby. I don't know if it, I, I would like it if I had to. Like every time. It's like, okay, when was this place invented? And I had to get dressed mm-hmm. to look something up. That'd be wild to me. Cause I like, you know, just looking something up. I mean, when, you still got Google. You, you still dressed? got Google. We just getting when rid of social media. Dressed? Hold on, back up. When do you get dressed? That's your same pajamas that you went to sleep in. When do you get dressed? You're in a, a same asylum. <laughs> you have the same outfit this on. is the uh, most course. colorful and happy insane asylum ever in that case. Where's your nurse? <laughs> you know, that was just a poster board they moved it just like all right back time for your happy pills <laughs> all right y'all i gotta go your squad cast you're like yeah. <laughs> is to hear in here with me no <laughs> oh man time for your soy sauce injections <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Don't even be surprised at that time. Don't get him none of that. He gonna he gonna do a good Asian joke every single time. Hey, come on, Ty, give it to me. Give no, it up. No. Give it to me. Let's I put can't... it to a vote. Uh, 
No social media for a year versus no text for a year. No I'm going over. Yeah. Yeah, me time I say no text. No text. Get that out of here. I'm bad at it anyway. Okay. I'm cool. I go I'm no cool text as you. well. So it looks like it's Look, a, fuck them texts. Is you not unanimous with the with the no text? No, uh, no, sir. No, sir. Get that oh. social media out here. Get it out of here. I'm good. Oh, oh see that? that? Okay, okay. My yeah. bad. Yeah, I thought you said no text. Nah, okay. for a year, put me back with the nomads. I'll do it for a year. Okay. Huh? Y'all got it. I'll just send it to y'all to post. Yeah. I, 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 I like that, Will. I like to stand your ground. Stand I know he gonna put, he gonna send like all type of videos that are like so out of touch. Like that's not what's happening. On his, we're not talking about that. Yo, social media be so. Well, I just sent past some stuff for the busted challenge. Like it has evolved, and it's only through social media. Like that's it's it's. I you was even. busting it for the busted challenge to hear. I knew it. You nah, think. it wasn't me, y'all. It's, it's it's evolved. I'll send it to you. It's if you got Twitter, what, yeah. What did what did evolve? Yeah, to? Like, yeah, I want to go down. Uh, why not? It, it's literally people will with the transition. They're smashing afterwards. Ain't no dress up. Ain't no makeup. <laughs> busted. Busted. <laughs> wow. All yep. the way too far, but very entertaining. <laughs> you said it's on Twitter. I'll send you the on link. TikTok. <laughs> I'll send you the link, Ty. That is, hey. Okay. Thanks to hear. <laughs> I just want to look for research purposes. You know, right? right? Absolutely. You're asking for a friend. It's just it's porn. porn. I mean, it's porn, basically. Oh my gosh, it is. It, it really That's is. A setup. A topical all- setup. Yeah, they all eventually get flipped like that. What was the oh, yeah. the, the light flick challenge? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh right. yeah, the switch. Yeah. <laughs> that got dirty real quick. Boy, Man. this actually took way longer than the flip the switch one. This one took way yeah. longer. <laughs> it was bigger too, though. Yeah, that is true. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching another episode of uh, uh-huh. Squadcast Versus. Uh, shout out to our special guest. Ty Davis, who just opened up her phone and saw something. <laughs> you send it to her? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>